Hey everyone and welcome back to No Man's Sky. Today we are going to be doing some building once again. As you can see we are on the freighter because that is what this guide is about. Behind me you can see both a save point scaled down and glitched against the wall as well a scaled down teleporter. I'm going to show you how you can do this and more. Now as you can see the wire is not able to be placed on the floor so this makes it impossible for us to use the wire to do any glitching or wire glitching. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to do the tether glitch. Oh, by the way, I am not going to show you in detail what each glitch is, what buttons you need to press. If you want to be informed about that, go and check out my guide uh, right here, which is going to tell you each technique you need to know and what you can do there. I also have chapters there, so you can just click on the chapter. All right, with that out of the way, let's show you what you need to do. Now, as I said, you cannot place the wire, but we can trick the wire to be placed. So what we need to do, we need a building part. No matter what, we can just take a building part, for example, the insulated flask, and just go to the, uh, as you can see, you can switch between that. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to do a reverse wire glitch. So if I do a reverse wire glitch and I press the buttons for it, you will see that I now have placed that wire on the connector that is right there. You can see it's on the ground and I'm having a wire in hand that is being pulled away. While it's still being red, I have placed a wire on the floor. Now, if I would switch back now from the wire to the building part, just by pressing toggle wire, you can see that the part is now back. Now, the advantage of this is that it still is connected to that wire. So if I would bring it to the wall, you can see that now it has this little angle here that can be placed. By the way, I can also still scale this, scale it up and scale it down if it's a scalable part, and I can just place it here on the edge. You will now see that this building part is angled according to the wire connector we just placed. If you compare this with the building part original, you can see that it normally should be straight. So this is how you can use the tether glitch. Um, but as you noticed, I cannot place this against the wall. It is not possible. It has to be placed on a surface that is flat because this is working only on a flat surface. If you want to use another building part that you want to glitch against the wall, then you can, for example, use the flora containment or you can use the um, lights somewhere here. For example, the triple hang light, you can see that this is following each of the surfaces like this. So I could just say I want to place the light here. Then we reverse wire glitch. Then we have that wire. We can bring it to this corner now. And you can now see that this light is following the wire that is connected here and we'll angle it in a angle. So this is the tether glitch combined with the reverse wire glitch. Practical, I wouldn't say this is the most interesting technique because it's very limiting. You can just play certain parts on an angle, but it is a good way to think and open your mind that even if you cannot do a certain glitch in the game, maybe another glitch might allow you to force a situation that this other glitch is possible. I'm just putting it out there as a way to maybe open your mind to more techniques and try out and see if you can figure out techniques for yourself. All right, the next thing we're going to do is the universal adjacency glitch. But before we go into that, I want to point out a few little details you should take notice of. The first thing is I can place one here and I will place one here. You will see there is no difference. The only thing that happens is there's a little bit of a rotation going on between the parts, but that's all you can see here. But if I would now scale this one up on this side of the room, these are four rooms, by the way. If I place one here and I scale it up, look at what happens with my building part. It really starts to kind of wiggle and it's completely angled, which is very, very weird. But if I do it here and we scale it up, you will see that this wiggle is really minimal and the building part is nice and straight when fully scaled up. So there is a big difference in which room you place it. And I think this might be because either the room has not been rotated properly. So what we can do, we can just uh, delete this one and then rotate it. And then if we see now and we go to the part again and we scale it up, you can now see we have no issues at all. So if your building part is doing this weird little wiggle, this is most likely because the orientation of your room is not properly done. So if that happens, just remove it, rotate your room, and that should fix that issue. All right, so now this is of the way, I'm going to place one here and I'm going to place one here. Because the next thing I want to show you is what happens when you start duplicating building parts that are snapped or placed against the wall. 
if I duplicate this one here, you can see that this one is following the same surface. It follows the wall and it will follow the ceiling. So this is following the same direction of the building part we used. Now, if I would duplicate this one, you will notice that this is not happening. It is actually still following, but it just has angled a weird direction. Now, that's why I always use a building part on the floor and not on the wall or on the ceiling, just because that is going to help me way more in keeping control over the building part. So now let me just place three of these, scale them up like that. And we will be using these to do the universal adjacency. Now, if I go into my menu and we collect our uh, barrel fabricator, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a universal adjacency. What I'm going to do, I'm going to store this into my wire cache menu by pressing the buttons. And if you don't know how to work, how it works, if you want to check it out, check out the description, as I said, of the video in the link below. Now I'm going to duplicate this building part here, place it here. And now I'm going to do a wire glitch, which is going to replace this scaled up building part with the battle fabricator that is inside my wire menu. There we go. And as you can see, the difference is pretty clear. I scaled up this building part really high compared with what it was before. Now, we can do the same with the battle fabricator now and also place it against the wall. So if I want to do this and I, I uh, store it into my menu, I take the small one here and I remove this piece against the wall like here and I do a wire glitch. That is going to allow me to put the battle fabricator now flat on the floor using one of these and I could do the same. I could store it and actually make a large one as well so that the large one is also glitched against the wall. So this is how you can use both the universal adjacency and the dead glitch. Now, as said, I'm going to show you how to do the scaled down building. So let me just uh, scale this one down completely to the minimum. And now we're going to go to our teleporter, which is here. And we're going to store this teleporter inside my menu. And I'm going to duplicate this one here and we're going to place it and we're going to bring it right here on the edge. You can see in this room here, we have this edge. I can just place it right here and then we're just going to glitch it like that. And that is how you scale down your building part. Now, if you want to do this properly, you will have to rotate that or you can just take it, duplicate it or move it and then rotate it if necessary. Now, I already have my teleporter below. So that means I cannot build a second one uh, regularly and manually. So, but this is how you can build yourself a scaled down teleporter. And the same is going for, of course, the save point. You can just select your save point, store it into your menu, take the little one right here, place it against the wall, and then simply glitch it like that. So you have now a small save point. Anyway, this is most of the information I can share with you about these current glitches. I hope this guide was useful and interesting to you. Let me know in the comments if you have any more questions and I will try to answer them or make a guide about it. Once again, if you liked it, press that thumbs up and I will see you again next time. Thank you so much for watching. This was Beeblebum. Goodbye for now.